Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. It, I'm back. Yeah, I know. I'm streaming two times in a week. I'm not... I didn't... This is a very big surprise to all of us. Didn't know I was going to be doing this either. Just give me a couple seconds more. While my Xbox tries to figure out how not to die. How is everybody doing today? How's everybody doing? I'm doing good. Very excited. I know I said it a lot last stream, but it feels weird to like be streaming again and stuff. Like the on on the day uh the night of Monday or Monday night. That's the word. Monday night. I like I got in bed and I couldn't sleep because I like I was so excited for my next stream. I, it felt weird. I didn't I haven't felt like this excited to stream since I had first started. And I feel like my mic is really close to my face right now. And I also feel like has my capture card frozen. It has. Okay, that's not a good thing, usually. not the greatest thing okay um only a couple minutes in all right i haven't had no difficult difficulties wouldn't be a bad stream if that wasn't the case okay mm. All right. Mm. Okay. Time to fix the capture card. So hopefully I can actually stream the game I want to stream. That'd be great. That'd be great. Mm. Okay. Turn back on, please, and work this time. Okay, yay! It's starting up. Okay, yes. Good, is that three yet? Give me a second more. You were working just fine last night. What the fuck are you doing, Capture Card? I was up at 12 a.m. Ready to download Persona 4. Uh, now it does this bullshit. Very appreciative of it. Very glad when it does this. Very happy. Very fun. Okay, mm. All right, there it is, good. Yay, it's working. I'm a god of technology. And now, I can... I'm not, I check, god, I was the guy I check science for. Is what I would apparently like so when I try to connect to the internet. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Okay. Third try is the charm. Oh, I, I. This is the fourth try, actually.
Okay. Please capture card. I need you to work. I've been hyping this stream up. I have nothing else planned. If you don't work on my second stream of the new year, I'm going to cry. And that'd be bad. You don't want to see me cry. Do you? Do, you don't want me to cry in front of all these people, do you, Capture Card? I didn't think that. that that'd be rude if you tried. Okay, so it's not... Hmm. Is it my controller? Or is it just an ins issue with Persona? Okay, so uh, I'm just dumb. And can don't know how to skip through text. Apparently. Normal mode. I'm a baby. I'm a baby. Gotta do normal mode. Well, relax and have fun with this game. I'll try. Uh... First few minutes have been a bit tedious, but might be just because of my own. Hmm. What the fuck? Oh god, am I in a pimp mobile? Oh my god, I'm in a pit mobile. <laughs> I I was joking. Oh my god, I'm in a pit mobile. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I was not expecting that voice. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Fuck. Man, your eyes are crazy, bloodshot. Fuck. You like do you need some eye drops, man? You good? Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Igor. Hello, Igor. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. Ah, oh, you seem like a nice guy. Thank you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. So it's like the it infinite is a room pit that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may Still sounds be like a pit mobile. Such a fate awaits I'm... you in the near future. The fate of being a pimp? I I'm yeah, down with that. Then. Why don't you introduce yourself? Okay. <laughs> My last name. Okay. Ooh. Ooh -wee. Proceed? Uh, sure. Yeah, that's my name. Hmm. I see. Now. I can tell. Let's take a look into your oh, future. Your eyes are large, man. Shall. The future. Mm. Do you believe in fortune telling? I mean, I, I'm I'm literally in. Each reading is well, done with the same. I don't think I have a choice not to. The result is always different. That's usually how it goes, from what I've heard. Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? I would not know. That looks scary. Am I gonna die? Mm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Well, me dying would be a terrible catastrophe, so... The card indicating the future beyond... A crab the moon in the upright position this card represents a hesitation and mystery it seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination and a great mystery will be imposed upon you okay in the coming days you will enter into a contract of some sort 
after which you will return here. Oh god, am I gonna be the pimpy though? <laughs> the coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Well, if anybody can do it. I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a Hi, resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. Yeah, he just told me that. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Okay. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm just fading out. What the fuck? Oh, this is a weird aspect. What the hell? I oh, okay. Okay. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. That I that was definitely a transition. The refreshing taste of calorie magic. And. We're back. Now on to some juicy news. The I think we, well, I think what we already seen was juicy enough. You can just stop it, guys. First he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? What? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? figure out how to fix it yay well what the I'm fuck? sure that you all know already is that me at the end of this month he will be transferring to another school but i look so dead inside god quiet down guys because my time in the pit mobile god so bad and dejected there was no life behind my eyes The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatami, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is... Oh my god, is that a panda? Oh, should we go soon? Yeah, it's just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... What the fuck? I, I'm feeling super weird since I left that pimp mobile, man. I'm tripping balls. What the fuck am I seeing? Oh, closing guys just makes it come faster. Oh god. Stared at the screen. Ooh. Can I play now? That was the most walk hey, awkward walk here. animation I've ever seen. Okay. Hmm. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Sir, I'm a child. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see. I'm your okay. mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. And we've never met before. Uh, yeah, it's nice to meet you, I guess. <laughs> you probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know. I did not want to know that. You did not have to this tell me that. my daughter. Come on now. Hello, come. child. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. What have you done to this child? <laughs> <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well, then, oh, music. let's get going. My car's over there. 
a hella random one. Hey. You I'm sure you'll. Oh my god. I really hope she's important to the story. Right, thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. That was all you had to do. What's wrong? We got in the car and headed for Dojima's house. Yay. Question mark. Music good. I like the music. I love Sony game music. It's so fucking good. Gas station. Hi. Welcome to Mall. Hi. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? I am like... I am a teenager. I hope I can. <laughs> oh, you're talking to the child. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. It's in the back to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. That is... I know. A weird way... <laughs> To describe it, I think. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Yes. Have you ever Fill heard of it? Car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. I'm sure country people like you don't even know what a skyscraper is. Good time as any for a smoke. You were already smoking. The cigarette's already in your mouth. Are you in high school? Yes. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little I'm to surprised do. by how sure uh, pushy the back. gas attendants are. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Uh, okay, so you're trying to... Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. We Our hands were not touching in that. Oh. I should get back yeah, to Yeah, work. you should. It talks so much. Oh, it's... Oh, headache. Okay. It's all the light. Are you okay? No. Nah. Did you get car sick? No, nah, I just accepted Lord and Jesus as my savior. You don't look too good. Uh, okay. Not to mention that I do feel a little dizzy. I I'd explain it to you, Nanako, but I don't think you know what a pimpmobile is. You okay? It's nothing. It's fine. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. All right. All the way here. Why don't you go to... Uh, stop me if you're near the house. All the stores. Oh, the blue butterfly. <gasps> it's her. Hello. How we met before? We... I could gaslight her. But no. I met you like a minute ago. How do you not remember me? I feel dejected. Oh my god, I I walk so fast. The amount of distance I travel does not feel equal to my footsteps. Hello, old man. Can I push? Huh? Have you something to do in the shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day. You only see regulars nowadays. If only June S hasn't come into town, or June's hasn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. Is this fucking... You weren't lying when you said that everything is fucking metalworks? A blacksmith? Okay. Mario took an old woman's tending the store. Okay. Hmm. Hey, you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. That was leftovers. What? No, it was not leftovers. I was saving it to. I was saving it for later. Why is it? I don't like the fact it's pausing. So it's pausing so much. It's not fun. The in time, there's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. I wish I knew what you just said. Absolutely. 
rush them in place, you can't turn them. Then why are they still there? Can I just leave? Dojima's waiting for you. I'm waiting for Dojima? Fuck, I'll leave. I, I am nothing else for me to do. I literally cannot go any further. You arrived at the Dojima residence. So next year, this place will be your home. So excited. Yay. Dojima. All right, let's have a toast. Okay. We're, we're not toasting anything in specific. Okay. Usually late. So your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? Yes. I know it's only for a year. I but think. Getting stuck I don't, in I don't know who like they fucking are. Parents, I have no memories before this day. It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family, so make yourself at home. Oh, that's nice. I'll do just that. Good. Good. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Oh, it's... Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Where yeah. the fuck are you going? I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. Something tells me this is a concurrent thing. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. This happens a lot, doesn't it? Oh, God. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? You make her do the laundry? I already brought it in. She's like four. All right. Well, I'm off. For this week. Okay. Next, let's take a look at the I don't like that guy now. of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in, I can from understand the west, if he's a teenager. She like rain throughout the day tomorrow in seven. most areas. Let's eat. That's what we were already doing. What does your dad do? That's so. That's so much more important. He than... investigates stuff like crime scenes. Ah. Uh. My dad's a detective. Uh. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. Who the fuck is this guy? His hairline is so far back. Oh my god. Why? Why is it askew? <laughs> Why does he look like he's about to make me apologize? His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised why? appearances. Girl, why'd you marry that? Like, look Until at him. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. Okay. At Tunis, every day is customer I didn't know that Nanako was one of my viewers. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Tunis. Every day is great at your Tunis. Oh, Nanako, you are a precious god. You Aren't precious you child. You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Okay. How are you doing, Nanako? Oh, um, Nanako's at a loss. Should leave her alone. Are, are you okay? This is a... A small house. If there are any regrets in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. Why would I make lunch after eating? 
during the evening. Do I, can I go up? I can go upstairs. Okay. It's the room you're borrowing from Dojima. Damn mind. I should rest? Nah. However long you should rest. I want to watch TV. Hey, desk. God. At least my god is a fucking person that tells you to sleep. No, this god himself comes down and says, No, don't fucking do that. Go to bed. You're running, everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. School? Do I have to go? Oh, what the fuck happened? Why am I? God, God, that was a joke. I promise. I made a joke about you telling me to go to bed. I. Why? Why am I in this fucking chill, nonchalant ass pose while at the gates of heaven? <laughs> the air is covered in a thick fog. Do right now is proceed forward. Do I die if I proceed forward? Even the loading screen's white. What the? It. it... I died in my sleep, right? The Jima poisoned me. Do you seek the truth? I heard someone's voice. I. I don't. I. I don't know if I want to- if it's the truth you desire, come and find me. Okay. The voice from up ahead. Alright. All right. Okay, Mr. Voice. You are a cube. You sent someone ahead. Will you continue? Sure. Am I in a fight? <laughs> Where did I get a katana from? A god? A trial- A god, I am sorry. I just dealt damage to God. You can, you can see a little despite the fog. Yes. Okay. Where did the katana come from? I'm still confused about that. Why do I have a katana? Did I just pull that out of my ass? But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is the truth, then your search will be even harder. You will- well, There's already so much fog, man. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Okay, I, mean, I can kind of see you a bit, right there. No, apparently not. We meet again at a place other than here. I look forward to it. You're losing. Aren't I already like dead? How the fuck did I summon a katana? Here's breakfast ready. I swear to God, if Nanako made breakfast. I feel like you had a nightmare. I didn't have a fucking- I died and went to heaven. That's not a nightmare. That's a it's an out-of-body experience. Hi, Nanako. Good morning. I'm- Nanako, have you ever died? Okay. Let's eat. Uh, did, did you do the cooking, Nanako? I can toast bread and cook sunny-side-up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You buy dinner? You're starting school today, right? Nanako, you're like six. My school's on Bro, the way. Bro, get on Dojima's so ass. Make him do something. You're so restless. That head. Am I just gonna leave this child alone in her house while I go to school? I don't like that. School zones. Okay, now she goes to school. That's good. Okay, I'm glad she goes to school. God, if this child didn't go to school, I I would have sucked a bunch of Dojima. God. This guy has a different outfit from Wells. He's definitely a main character. Oh, God, are you? 
I like how we changed it to pain student, like we couldn't tell. That looked painful. <laughs> you should leave him be. Okay. <laughs> Bye, pain student. I hope you feel less pain in the future. What kind of student life awaits you? Probably one full of pain, guessing from that other guy. I wonder who the main characters are. Jeez. Uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Morooka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron all right. King Moron. We get to enjoy his long ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going King to be a Mora? transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Yeah, I asked myself the King's question. A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. I think he is dead. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? Hello, you. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I'm here now. All right, shut what? your traps. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the... <laughs> What the fuck am I looking at? Who is that an animal? Oh my god, he puts he puts the squirrel from Ice Age to shame. Oh my god. If he ever looked down, his teeth would just pierce his neck. Holy shit. His overbite so long it turned into an underbite fuck. <laughs> Again, why is his hairline askew? <laughs> his forehead's so goddamn big. <laughs> his jawline's I'm so Kinshiro curvy. Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. I could practically see his skull. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. And why the fuck does he sound like that? Long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. He looks like he's in desperate need of a I cigarette. I'm wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad Hi. sack's been the thrown fuck? from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. What the fuck do you mean, and he's sad just sack? As much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Bitch, what the fuck? Tell him fu your name, kid, and make it quick. What the fuck is your problem? Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. I Except think I was already there. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. Well, apparently I'm from the assholes. You I'm better looking not at that even one. think of getting involved with the girls here. Let alone abusing them. Why is that your immediate assumption, man? We just but met. What do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, <laughs> you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. My Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? As long as I'm away huh? from that guy. Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Fuck. Fuck. I want to beat that guy's ass. He's the worst, huh? Really? He seems like a nice guy. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. Now, I was going to, like, ask, like, can you not see this? But his eyes were like so small and sunken in, I doubt he actually could. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. I can tell why you're calling King Moron now, yeah, I completely he agree. He won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. 
I don't really care about fitting in. I just kind of want to beat King Moron's ass. I don't like that guy. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Oh, let's go. King Moran has to go somewhere. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Does he think? It's like getting on my nerves. Yeah. Oh, please tell me I hit by a car like immediately after leaving the school. Uh, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like fog. every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that. Oh, yeah. You mean my Yumi Yamano, right? I heard some guys there. spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Okay, good Are for you. you. Is King Moron dead yet? Hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Is this woman harboring fugitives? Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's it's no It's been like 12 seconds, Yukiko. I mean, fuck. I don't know who the fuck your name is yet. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? Should I be listening you know, on this conversation? That thing about rainy night? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. You could. Aw, oh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. What? Attention all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Oh my god, please tell me King Moran just fucking please died. Stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Please tell me you just got like had a heart attack Do in the middle. Not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. Please tell me like my roasting killed him. I repeat. Incident? What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. That isn't. That's not the first reaction you say when you hear incident. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Nah, I have a child following us? me. Oh, I'll take that offer. I nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satanaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Oh, you sit next to me? I did not fucking notice. It's not like you talked to me the entire fucking class. <laughs> you do? <laughs> Dude, I was sitting right next to you. <laughs> talk to you <laughs> anyways this is yukiko amagi oh nice Hello, to meet go. you i'm sorry nice to meet you this too. is so sudden hey, Come it's on, fine don't apologize like that it makes me look like i got no upbringing i just wanted to ask some stuff really that's all oh oh hey it's the guy let die in the schoolyard this oh, morning miss satanaka oh, this was really awesome like the way they moved was just Amazing to see. What? And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. What did what happened? See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? What did, oh my god. <laughs> Again? Holy shit. What the I can't believe this! It's completely cracked! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Dragon! Amazing voice line. What the? I think mine's cracked too. <laughs> Critical hit to the net. Uh, are you all right? I don't think he is. Oh, Second time today. Are you worried about me? No, she's she's not worried about you at all, man. I gotta stop hoping. He's fine, Yukiko. Let's yeah, he's ditch fine. Go home. Yeah, let's ditch him. You can go. <laughs> Sorry to leave you for dead again, guy. Oh my god, we're just leaving you again. Fuck. I, 
feel bad. You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? <laughs> What the fuck? The character designs in this game are amazing. Oh my god. I I have nothing to I What? I'm at a loss for words. Who are you? That's what I'm it's like a creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh my god. That, never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. That's weird. I bet Not you weird, can't but tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge the is? The Amagi, okay. Uh, so are, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine. Well, what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. You are very oblivious, Yukio. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of it. Yeah, that was fucking weird. Yo, Yukiko-san. Oh, wait, the guy's still alive. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall Is doing it... that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? Go away. I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. I am absolutely fine. Try not to just die again. Is all. What the fuck does that mean? Um, what do you mean by that? I'm sorry for dragging you into this. What is going to happen to me? Am I going to be okay? Am I going to die? Come am on, I going to get go. jumped? <laughs> I feel like Kel is about to get jumped. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Uh, my parents there just really don't love me. There nothing here, huh? Don't say that. There's like a bunch of plants. That's what makes you could go. Nice. She's nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. The inn? Huh? It's just an old inn. The inn is the pride of your town. Can I go back home? I don't think no I want to be way. here. And how is the fucking inn the pride of your town? It's a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. Just for the inn? I'll say, that's impressive, but it, how the fuck does an inn do that? I think that's entirely true. Yeah, it's a, an, an inn. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, I knew it! <laughs> Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? I'm not responding to that. Come on, stop. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. I think I bet to disagree. I think I just got jumped. Wait, no, no, no. I almost got what jumped I earlier. Because I, I need a boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, you go, girl. Be independent and anything, but, like, you're definitely popular. Jeez. I almost got jumped yeah. simply being around you. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? Oh, th that guy. That, what? Okay, that's a music change. Oh, hi, policeman. So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? What ha- what? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up Oh, okay. Here. 
Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Yep, a, a dead body. Oh, Dojima, hi. I see you're here instead of spending time with your daughter. Hey, what are you doing here? Just... Did, what happened? Somebody hanging from well, the antenna? You could say that. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. What the... <laughs> Dachi, how long are you gonna act like a rookie? You wanna be sent back to the central office? Is he good? I'm sorry. <clears throat> Obviously not, okay. <sighs> go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Why is he flailing his arms like that? Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Oh, I hey, Yukiko, thought it was just why don't we go early to wish King Moron died there actually. Time. Good idea. Alright then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. Na do we live back to blue? Why are you calling me neighbor? We only see each other in class. You're getting a bit close, buddy. Oh, okay. Get it. What? Oh, great music. Hello, police officer. Shoot. Where do you go home? No. Oh. Fuck the place. I'm gonna do whatever I want. The bookstore. Okay, I don't think I've taken anything new out here, actually. I don't think I can do anything new there. I, I guess I'll just go home. Maybe Nanako's home. Maybe the dream is probably not. What the? Housewife and farming book. And it was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. Such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. I was gonna buy some tiny soul tomato for dinner tonight too. What now? Oh, that's no problem here. You can have some of the tomato I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start a home garden as long as they have some unused land to work with. You think that spot next to the team? No, don't fucking take that spot next to my house. It's my. If they start a home garden too, doesn't mean I could afford to share in the vegetables they grow? No, you fucking can't. You cannot have my vegetables. They'll become even when you turn around. I don't, think, I don't think I can do anything. I probably could have checked, but I don't think I can do anything. Hi, Nanako. How are you doing? Do you have a good day at school? I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Again? Oh my god. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon oh, today, the a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. I like how Nanako had no reaction to that. <laughs> like, damn, another one? The deceased has been identified oh. as Miss Mayumi Yamano. It's the woman. A 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> the, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! Oh, that's what catches your eye, not the dead person. Okay. Are you... Uh, it, it'll be alright. You don't need to be worried about him. It's so Jima. I, I think know. we can... That's his job, so this stuff happens. I think, like, if he dies, you wouldn't even notice. The body was found he just did not come home. A large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. How the fuck do you get on top of a television antenna? As to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. How do you accidentally get on top of an antenna a thick fog that's on top of a the home? Area has slowed their progress. And plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. I'm confused with how, as to how you accidentally. I think it's pretty clear it's a murder. 
And then she was like hit they by a car so hard roof? she flew. That's scary. Yeah, it's scary how they got up there. And it wasn't active oh, though. It's Juness. Are you are you gonna At sing Juness. again? Every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. I don't think you should have customers touching your products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Grace and Nanako. Don't, don't, don't make me do it. Don't make, don't make. <laughs> Every day is great at you your Juness. Already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. It's like five words. No, oh, it's five words, Nanako. It's not five words. I can't count. Every day. At your tune. It's seven words. I'm the you're the best one in your class? Good for you. You're the other people in your class must suck at singing though. Or you're the only one in your class. When is Ted coming? Oh my god. Was right to pick on the team from never coming home. Oh my. Okay. Still time getting used to your new life. You should return to your room and rest. Am I gonna die again? Okay, no, I'm. Good, I didn't go back to heaven. Oh, hey, this guy again. And he fucking died. He... Someone... How do you lane in a trash can? Maybe you should help him. No, uh, it's finally God. I help him. You saved me. Thanks. Um. Yeah, it took. It only took me, like, what, oh, two yeah, times. That's right. You're that transfer student. Yes. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Hi, Yosuke. Will you ever learn how to ride your bike? <laughs> Is your bike okay? My bike? What about me? Your bike has more value than you do. Your skate seems to be all right. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. Yeah, scary. Some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. I don't know. A warning. Hanging a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Yeah. Oh crap, we're late. You want to ride? It's a little squeaky, no, but thing. it should be fine. I think I'll just die if I try to ride on the bike with you. Am I still- I'm still alive. Be quiet, you idiots. Fuck you. You guys are in high school. Aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to teach my precious- my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'm, I'll straighten up your rotten ass attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? I can't fucking read. Oh my god. And I'll, be, and I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. We are children, man. Now get your books. Your knowledge is increased, yay. Uh, you oh, I mean, fuck. Yosuke, I see you're still alive. So, are you getting used to this place? What was that hand movement? I, I, yeah, there's like wow, three places, so not really much to get there used to. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. Mm -hmm. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. And what the is that? The air's clean, the food's great. Uh, I, I, no, I know, I know what you're talking about. It's delicacy? Yukiko. You can't get Yukiko anywhere it's else. It's grilled steak, man. Okay. Like that's anything special, huh? It's grilled steak. I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Okay. Sure. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? Yes, Yukiko can absolutely come. Yeah, you, 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 you do whatever you want. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. So responsible. So responsible. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. 
Now, I doubt the people going into the inn knew oh, there was going to be a murder, but I feel like it's too. a weird time to travel anyway. It's April, huh? and there's so much rain. Do I seriously have to treat two people? Yes, you do. Like, oh, tea is coming, I guess. I mean, I never agreed to that, but... Jeez. I'm being rude to two. She's fine. You could get us just better. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Are we at a supermarket food? I mean, are we at a mall food court? Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason. You could have just said no, Yosuke. You could have just said no. I want the fuck. I want the steak. You promised me steak for saving you. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here. You this moved is to welcome you to town. Town. For a... Your, your family moved to town. For a job at a mall. Yosuke, are you poor? Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. Like, I can't blame her for being mad, but goddamn. There's smoke. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh. Uh... You can't blame mm. it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> I have something to say. Forgot it. Hey, it's Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. Oh, who the fuck is that? Is he? <laughs> he wishes. He has a That's large Saki forehead. Kimishi. I can tell from over here. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Oh. I think she's working here part time, though. So she's a trader. Okay. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. I take back everything I've said about her. <laughs> What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh. Madam, you wound me. Yosuke, what the fuck are you doing? Yosuke, what the fuck are you aside, doing? You look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. I mean, I'd be sad too if Yosuke came over here and said, Madam, you wooed me. What the fuck was that? Hey, <laughs> she didn't even laugh. To talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. She laughed at the idea of talking to you. God damn. <laughs> <sighs> Why did I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? I am. Damn. <laughs> this kid just got abandoned. Fuck. Hello. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It yeah. must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? It would be. It wasn't Yosuke. I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, Damn. so I hope you two get along good. Fuck, she's putting him on blast. God, Hannah fuck. Chan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Yo, okay, you're annoying me. <laughs> yeah, he's annoying. <laughs> Dude, all the funny all right, answers. break it up. You're kind of getting on my nerves. That... Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Later. Goodbye. Oh, uh, senpai? Damn, Yosuke, you got no riz. <laughs> Saki senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Damn. She treats you like a brother? Dude, why are you still trying? <laughs> oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. 
the daughter of a local family-run <laughs> liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. It is very obviously like that, Yosuke. You are not oh, subtle. Really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're huh. supposed to look into a TV that switched off alone exactly at midnight on a rainy night while you're staring at your own image another person will appear on the screen and Ooh. they say that person's your soulmate mm. what for a second i thought you were actually going to say something useful how can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that childish huh you don't believe it do you of course i don't this girl in the the girl in the blue in the back is kind of just staring out into space. Like she's been here for a good minute and she's just staring into space. She hasn't ordered anything. Other than like that drink. She hasn't even taken a sip of it. She's just sitting there. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out. Sure. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, nah, I think it's kind of just blew up there and still died. Around. <laughs> Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish? Nah, murder's funny, GA. All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. I heard the rumor on the Midnight Channel, where one can see one soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. I better see you, Kiko. I better see you, Kiko. <sighs> Hi, Nanako. How are you doing? You doing good? <laughs> Did your father call? No. He always says he will. Has he just not been home? Oh, oh. He's home! That's a first. <sighs> what a day. Hi, Dojima. back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm yeah, sorry. tell him, Monaco. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? God. Put put the news on your fucking self. Next, Do you have arms. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Inaba. Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Follow up on the report from yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with a, council, a, can, a councilman's secretary. Fuck. The wife's... The man's wife seems to be Misuzu Haragi and Enka Singer. Fuck, I'm so bad at reading. Why did I choose this game? Could the incident be tied to their level score? The police plan to investigate this relationship I'm and so bad at reading, any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. <sighs> an interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind oh, when you saw here. it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. The females, the female students' face and voice are indistinct, but you feel like you've seen her somewhere before. Don't you think it's, it's scary it, that it's someone Saki. was killed on a You can see from the fucking day? head. You can tell from the fucking size of the forehead. Huh? She was killed. I would oh, do not know. Uh... So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... Jeez. That's not good. Nishi Yosuke Senpai. A tragedy that occurred it, it in the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. Hmm. <laughs> If they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. Yeah, that's fair. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes. I feel like it was so a warning. Like no it's a weird ass warning. To take credit for the what are they warning them of? 
Those are prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown? And they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? Bro, what happened yesterday? Calm down. Like, fuck the police and all, but fuck, get t have some patience. We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every oh day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Singing, Nanako. Yeah. Great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <laughs> oh, the bitch is asleep. No. Oh. Jeez. Wake him up, Monaco. He was right there, like, just smack him. The genie is leaving. You should leave him alone. No. I'm waking him up so he can talk. He can spend time with his daughter. Why don't I go to bed? I'll wake dad up and tell him to go to his own room. My God. Oh, God. Damn. I feel so bad for Nanako. You should check out in your room. Watch TV in your room, man. Nanako, jeez. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I look so depressed. Your soulmate appears if you look into the TV on a rainy night. Could she a story be true? If I don't see you, you could go on this TV screen. I'm I'm quitting the game. Ending stream right here. Tripping low? What is going on? I am thou. Oh. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opens the door. God, I didn't make any jokes about you in like a while, man. Please don't do this to me. See who my soulmate was? Oh god, was that one guy that tried to hit on you uh Nikiko? Please don't tell. <laughs> That's not how TVs work. I'm getting oh, damn fuck. Are you okay? I I'm I'm fine. I'm fine, Nanako. I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? I heard a really loud noise. I'm sorry. Go back to bed, please. Well, good night. Yeah, good night. Now, why the fuck is God in my TV? <laughs> what just happened? Why is God inside of my TV? I wonder if Yusuke's gonna die again today. Oh, hi, GA. Perfect timing. Sorry, move over. Chafe pours herself under... Okay, at least ask next time. <laughs> I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they use an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves, and I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the movie. I... I'm disappointed. By the way, did you see it? You, you gotta, you gotta be specific, GA. I'm dumb. You know the thing we, talk, we were talking about yesterday, the Midnight Channel. Oh yeah, that. Uh, I kind of talked to God last night. Well, God, more—it's more like he talked to me. He said I was gonna open a door or some shit. It was weird. I don't really understand it. Uh, um. Mhm. Mm it's kind of awkward to bring this, but we're pretty close here, GA. We just met. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and run the rest of the way. Yeah, you you, you do that. 
This is the only. This is like the best option to have for rejecting her. So yeah, run, fucking run. What's the point of that? Besides, like I wanted to make a break for it. Am I worrying too much? Yeah, I'll keep going with you. Any? Don't do that. No. Come on. You can leave. I'm asking you to leave. What the fuck? Is this racist? <laughs> is this racist? <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko so Sofue. And I don't know much about- I don't know much- I don't know how much you know about the world, world history, but I'm an expert. I think if you're an expert in world history, you should know that dressing up, like- Like, I don't think this is okay. First, a little about me. I love to use my my dowser and look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a, is a magnificent romance. I stutter so much while I'm talking. Why did I choose this game? History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity. Profund Guys, I promise I can read. I promise I know how to read. Why did you go ho ho ho? Is she Santa? Is she appropriating two things at once? Sorry, the I transfer you, Mr. Uli. Please stand up. And real Uli, please stand up. The Western calendar is based on an Anno de, 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 de I'm giving up already. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, what? What is the year before 1 AD called? That is <laughs> negative 1 AD. No, it's, B, it's 1 BC. You think it's correct? Seem understand. <sighs> I'm so smart. That was one question. Is that the entire class? Okay. Look, that's just. What's up with the body being hung upside down? That's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. But... My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Oh, hi, Yos hi Yosuke. Yo. Um. You alright? It's, a, uh, It's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... What, what, what'd you see? What'd you see? Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell oh, you tell later. me now. <laughs> tell me now. Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai supposedly the one who discovered that body. Supposedly. That was a very, like, poor hiding of a face. that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Oh, Yukiko. Hey, Yukiko. Are you helping out at the inn today? Please, I know. Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. You know, Yukiko. Yukiko, I could, I could go with you. I could give you like company. And she's leaving. Okay. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? He does. I should go I with her and like make sure she's okay. Ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, I told you well, earlier, GA. What about I, you? I found God. I'm Christian now. I did. I seriously saw a girl. Oh. But my soul. Yeah, is gay. A girl? What's that supposed to mean? I think you know what it means. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and. Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. Oh. I couldn't Ollie make out Kyo? that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we Wait. saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How I... about you? Did you see it? No, I saw God. I saw Jesus Christ. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside... What was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. Yosuke, okay. I would never lie about meeting God. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. I find your voice annoying. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Good oh, yeah? for you. 
Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics that, 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 department that, that, this that, that, month. That checks out. Definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. <laughs> Fuck no! Don't do that. We got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> Why do you try to me, Yosuke? Why do you make fun of me? I thought we were friends. I saved you from falling once. And now you make fun of me. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, yeah, they tend to buy things. Not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Like, if I just picked it up and again, stole it right now, nobody well, would know. At least looking spree. Looking at a black screen with my friends. Nope. <laughs> Can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Never lie. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. That's why I got sucked into the TV, not through the TV, <laughs> Yosuke. I'm saying. So, Chia. What kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. Mm. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You well, got TA4? connections, right? Hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... With a TV this big, you might really be able to go inside. God, are you there? Oh, the music changed. Okay. Oh, it's working. Oh, yeah. What kind of TV do you... Something wrong, Yosuke? Turn the... Look at me. <laughs> my hand... Is his arm... In the TV? I and mean, it's just my hand, but yeah. Whoa. Uh... Is that some kind of... New model? L like, with a, a new function? Hell no! You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Okay, open your large ass eyes and look at me. Look at the TV. My hand's fucking in there. Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Well, all you gotta do is accept Jesus into your heart and you can, you can do what I can do. <laughs> Put in just more... Like my head. Okay. Hey, don't do that! Oh my god, oh I can see god. heaven. There's empty space inside. Oh, just like real heaven. What do you mean inside? What, what do you mean empty space? There's an empty space inside the TV. How I could I don't think I can make it any clearer. This is very spacious in here. Yeah, the empty what stuff seems to be spacious. spacious. I mean, what's going on? I am inside the TV. It's oh, not that hard I, to understand. I think this is all too much for my bladder. Yo, Skate, you better not pitch yourself while I'm inside the TV. Your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. Sounds like a you problem. I can't hold it anymore. They go to the fucking bathroom, you idiot. I'll be inside the TV. Shit, what the customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. What are we gonna do? Pull me out. It's not like a simple answer. You guys are panicking for me. Wait, oh, okay. Ah! Okay, I got it. Um, huh?
Oh, why is this guy piss colored? Oh my god, my my fucking back. Oh my god, it's broken. Ow. Oh fuck, my legs. Wow. I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? Yeah, he literally landed on her neck. Fuck. What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell Welcome no, to heaven, it? guys. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Uh... I didn't expect heaven to be piss colored. So, uh, we're still alive. Right? No, going to heaven usually means that we're dead. <laughs> well, uh, we're inside the TV, I guess. I told you. Inside? I told you there was a blaze inside the TV. Whoa. You listen to me. Believe Look me. Look now. Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. I mean, <laughs> is that why the entire world's just yellow? <laughs> Need to drink some water, Yosuke. Is this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. It what is. are we gonna do? Uh, <laughs> you can make the decision, Chie. What do you want to do? What are you talking about? You're the leader now. Look, we need to get home and. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. We came into the sky, Chie. Look up. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well, usually when you die and go to heaven, you can't really leave. I can't take Not this anymore. Not much of a choice. I want to go home. Okay, so how? We're doomed, guys. No getting out of this one. We're fucked. What? Don't say stuff like that. Let's calm down and think about this. I've been calm. You're, you're, you're the one panicking. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but. If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. Alright then. That is very out of place. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. All because we're in a different location. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not... I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, so, Like, am I but... the only one like, that can see that, like, red fucking door? Apparently not then. Okay. So we're in somebody's room. Somebody lives here? Hey, is, is that it a me plant? Is, the fog lighter here? is there water here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow Light. down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Why are there like, pictures on the wall? Uh, they're like, that lady. Huh? What? I, I forgot her name. Oh, oh God. It's a dead end. That's there's what no you're worried. Exit. That's what you're worried about. Oh, there's like very, there's much more. There's a lot like more it's important things creepier here. And creepier the further we go. Yosuke, is fine. Yosuke, you better not piss on that goddamn wall. Yosuke, I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. Yosuke, there. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. I, I, I. Turn around! I can't go if everyone's watching. You're the one that decided to go. Uh, I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. I think this is for the best. Like I care. There's obviously like a lot of shit going on here. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. 
Someone must really hate this person. Oh, you think? Is that a noose? Okay. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Guys, I don't think we're in heaven anymore. We in hell? Are we sinners? I think I've seen I mean, that Yosuke definitely. Before. I mean, Yosuke definitely is puck. But who cares? Let's go. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Oh god, we are in hell. De we are. We're in hell, aren't we? Fuck. This is internal damnation. Oppressive atmosphere. All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? I don't know. Can you show us, camera? There's something over there. Why are they looking at me? Um. Hello? What the fuck? <laughs> Thing. A, monkey? a monkey? A bear? A monkey. Um, you, your first thought upon seeing this oddly bear shaped thing is monkey? Yay. Your brain is as smooth as like the top of your head. Oh my god. What in the world? Why is there a zip around your neck? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? Why do you have a mohawk? Yeah, calm the fuck down. Don't yell at me like that. He, he's just a little guy. Maybe it'd be better to ask him nicely. But what is this place? Are we in hell? Where the fuck are we? This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. Thank you, Bear. That doesn't fucking help. It's where I live. Again, doesn't help. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Okay. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? Very good question. That, what the, why are you running away from us? Why are you hiding behind me? I already told you. Why are you hiding behind me? Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. I explain that, please. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. You did not say that at all. Like I keep saying, we don't... Wait, what? Please let us out. What the hell? Okay, so we can summon TVs. Where did those TVs come from? Not the weirdest thing we've seen. Okay. Is that what hiding inside the zipper? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing. Making us leave. This is what we wanted. This bear's allowed us to escape hell. I'm honestly grateful. Huh? Is this? Like, the security cameras definitely captured that, right? Did we make it back? Like, that was definitely caught on tape. Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Oh, hey, advertising. It's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. I guess time right. flies when you're in hell. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That 
What's up now? Hmm? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. Maybe, maybe the woman whose She's name I keep the forgetting is the murderer, and she just faked her own death. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop! No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I don't think we can. I'm like we all saw the same shit, right? How do we can't just let that go? I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Okay. Well, like we definitely like can't forget about that. Hey, Dojima, you're home. home. This is unexpected. Still feel sluggish. So, Dojima, I went to hell today. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Yeah, I've, I've heard of her. Oh. She had a bit of forehead. I... Is she dead? Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Okay, so she's dead. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still that really casting feels, a shadow really sounds over sad. the At least you're at home, though. Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Oh my god, is Yukiko the killer? You're not being that Yukiko family's room. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, <laughs> the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there. And it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. Why'd you enunciate so much on teenage? Like, the manager's teenage daughter. What, what the fuck? If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Because of the hot screams or because of the teenager? Uh, I see. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. And just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn, run by Yukiko's family. And it seems the whereabouts of, Saiki, of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Saki definitely dead. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. Nanako does not have a care in the world. Other than, you know, Juness and her dad coming back home. Oh, bless me. <laughs> Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some Bro, cold do it medicine? yourself! Do it yourself! Why are you making your child do it? You should get to bed after you take it. I think you should fucking do something around your own house. Stop making your child to do everything. Why is there no music? Why is there no music? To go straight to bed tonight. A sprinkle can be done. Why is there no I It's so silent. It's so silent. It feels odd. You're rushing really why is there no music? Oh, anime cutscene. Okay. I was right.
Lucky is dead. That, that, that's gruesome, though. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Okay. So Dima left the house. Yeah. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Thank you, Nanako. Hmm. Nanako looks worried. Are you alright, Nanako? Is everything okay? I know, I know. It's, it... it's hard seeing Nojima leave so many times. You hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? Hey. Police. Like the people were staying. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I Where wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, Cause somebody died. what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Yosuke, are you okay? Everyone, please. She's wearing down. that here? The school assembly is He's about still to wearing it. Is that fucking Dumbledore? <laughs> First, the principal has something to say. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Kunishi of Class 3, has passed away. Oh, really? Oh, damn. Passed away? I was so attached to her character. Ms. Kunishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. The big so bullying is getting bullying. You say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? Usually how does somebody's murdered? <laughs> Are you alright, Yusuke? Or Yosuke? Why do I keep calling you Yusuke? Fuck. Yosuke. Why the quality she go down? The same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. How did you even get somebody up there to kill them? It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was like, some unknown poison. I feel like killing, killing oh, somebody, no. like taking them up to a, on, a pole, a telephone pole, drama. Oh, is just by the way, a bit did you much. Hear? They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? I think I'd be in pain too if I was fucking put on top of a telephone pole. <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Oh, hi, Yosuke. Are you doing well? Did you guys check out the TV last night? I did not. Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. Oh. There's no mistaking it. This music feels strangely upbeat for, like, this scene. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. Okay. And then, she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Yeah. Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but 
Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died, too. Oh. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV die? I'm glad it wasn't Yukiko then. God. I can't say for sure, but something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. In that room with the posters Ooh. on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Yeah. Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? That's preposterous. TV's committing murders? It's a fallacy. Uh, the yellow cave making sense. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. So we gotta go that would TV explain again. the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. I want to figure out what's inside of that bear. You should just let the police handle this and... Yeah, the police don't fix anything. We got to do this. You think we can rely on the police? Exactly. They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, Let's go, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. If I'm completely Yosuke off base with the this, cops. that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. I like, I like Yosuke now. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. I don't care, I haven't started yet. My social link with Yosuke is ranked up already. You're the only... I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yosuke is actually taking me to the TV world again. I can kind of Oh my fucking god, my neighbor's dogs are going... I'm sorry if you hear dogs, guys. My neighbor's dogs are fucking going insane over here. I'm trying to feel we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What Jesus should we Christ. do? <laughs> Let Chie decide. I'm going. I'm, nah, I'm going with him. I'm helping him. You serious? Yeah. What are you, a pussy? You watch. You watch a lot of kung fu movies. You know how to. Go to Junette. You probably know how to we fight. Can't leave Yosuke alone. Yeah. Ooh. You're getting asked to save. The bears in the TV. How you did you came. get in with that? We came to stop you, idiot. Now I'm going in with them. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. It's fine. I know. We were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. That's... Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. I really, I mean, it doesn't really have anything to do with you. Like, if you want to, like, try and get justice, man, that's, that's cool, but, like... That's true, but... You kind of just had a crush on her, man. What about you? Could you just walk away? I'm worried about she ain't no the fuck I'm not. I can't leave it alone. Yeah. Oh. I thought not. Music change? I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Yay, you like me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? Do I not get a rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? what? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. How do we know that the rope's here. gonna like transcend this dimensions with us? I got a golf club. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. <laughs> Why are you letting me be the fighter? All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Yeah, Chie, if we fucking die because hey! of you... I said wait! And here we go again. Yay. Thanks to the bear place.
Like, if someone just walks by, how are we gonna... Oh, I guess we're dead then. Fuck. Now what? So we found that bear. We don't fucking die. Uh, I hell if you know, scare. Is this? Did die again? Look, it's this the is same the same pla place as last time. Yep. So they are connected from place to place. Yeah, probably. You guys. What? Why'd you come back? Hi, bear. I get it. You're the ones behind this. That is a wild accusation. You're that thing from last I would time. never murder somebody. Wait, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> yeah, what Lately, the fuck? I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. If we're like trying to force people in here, why would we come? guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. What? Why'd you roar at me? I'm I can I punt you? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Shut up. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such Wait a sec. A murderer. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Oh. Hey, what do you think? That, that, must be, that must be it. I have no other theory. Yeah, I agree. You could go, maybe the murderer. Hope not. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be? I mean, like, that my only piece of evidence for that is the in here intended. If that's the case. What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Can you like just not Remember summon TVs again? How I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life. Li what? The rope is gone. Hey! You better let us out <laughs> once we're done investigating here. Really good switch of you, guys. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Do you have proof that we are? We didn't come in here with anybody other than ourselves. That girl from the other day is not in here. Shut up, bear. See? So it is, you guys. Do you think, like, do you think the bear is light? Do you think I could punt the last him? Last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Do hey, you think you go you flying? You answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really mm. dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. The fucking what? Why am I, uh, why am I acting like I don't know what shadows are? Play I, get it. I know what shadows are. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? Explain for Yosuke. That's He's why a, I said to he hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. Okay, let's let's assume that we are the ones doing it. How are you going to stop us? I told you and told you we're you not are like the four ones foot doing six. it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying you might be the culprits. Where did my golf club uh, go? I'm just making sure. Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is Honestly. this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Oh, are we hey, on TV? Hey, Hi, Mom. Don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, 
I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Do you not know what filming is? Always been like... Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. But does that mean you're a shadow? Look, we don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. I feel like, that. I feel like you're not you're allowed to say that, Yosuke. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Yeah, let me unzip you. Whoa. Oh, okay. What the hell are you? Oh, oh my God. It's empty inside. He doesn't have organs. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. And we're supposed to take I your word for that? I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. Thank you. Can I ask you another question real quick? Why are you empty on the but inside? I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. That's the plan. Promise me. Where are your innards? Or else... I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... Then, don't fucking cry. Why are you crying? Shut up. Stop what crying. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Honestly, Yosuke, we should just kind of leave, I think. Mysterious bear seems... <sighs> hey. Remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor, Igor or the pimp? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mystery that will be th thrust upon you? What was the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprits and solving that solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Thanks to the, the kind words of my pimp, I, I, will, I will agree to help you. Thank you! Don't Damn thank me, bear. thank the pimp. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. I'm Bez. You got a name? Uli. Teddy! Your name's fucking Teddy. Your <laughs> name is Teddy. Figures. But how are we supposed to His find name the culprit in the first place? Did you think of that in your own buddy? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Please do, fucking Teddy. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Glasses? What are these glasses, glasses. for? Glasses. <laughs> I like how they just bother animating for you putting us putting our glasses on. Oh, so the fog cleared. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. Mm, They'll help weird. you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. I don't know if I want to uh, do that. But I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What uh, happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? You literally are into their monsters. We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. Weapons? You gave me a golf club. What do you have? We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. 
I don't want your moral support. How's that sound? I think I'd be better off without it, actually. Can tell you really not fight. No. <laughs> I made the right choice. Is this thing for real? Honestly. This is so lame. For real. We swore. Oh yeah. Can I ask you something? Can you get up on your own? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? Just gave up. <laughs> Just laying on the ground. He gave up. It doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Wh wait! He can't even get up on his own. Do we really need this guy? Oh, okay. We're in Inaba. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Why is the sky uh, by red? By the way, why are you standing so far from us? That is a good question. You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. I mean, <laughs> I can't really blame not. him if he does that. He literally can't fight. He can't even pick himself back up off the ground. I. I mean, um, he'll probably roll down this hill. Too close, you know. I get in your way. Why can it blush? Where is the blood? Where is the blood vessels that allows it to blush? Where is the organs? This bear confuses confuses me. Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? It's like the only place in town. How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Oh, we're running. Okay. I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? Probably. What have happened? He Wait fell in. Wait a second. They're here. If we go to that portal, do we end up like at a TV antenna or something? They're here? What? Who is they? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack. Huh? Okay, uh, <laughs> that was... I was not prepared. Oh, oh my god. What the fuck? It's so gooey. It is so gooey. Okay, Yosuke is just dead. All right. What the fuck? I am thou, oh God! Thou Thank God you're back. I don't know what the fuck's going on, man. The time has come. Open thine eyes and call forth what is within. Y yes, sir. Please fucking help me from this. Is that a tarot card? Where'd you come from? Why is it blank? Is this God? So. Like a. Okay. 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 I don't guys are feeling snarky, but goddamn the music, fuck. Goes, holy shit, this goes hard. Oh, and God's gone. Stay calm and listen. Okay. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. Sure, yes, sir. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. All right. I, I was going to commentate, but fuck music. Have what effects on? Oh, God damn. Okay. 
Fuck, this music goes hard. Shit. <laughs> How'd you miss with a big ass tongue like that? Fuck. What the fuck you call me? Don't call me that. Comes <laughs> up to level two. Yay! Ooh, I got an Xbox achievement. <laughs> Thank you, God. Bye now. Thank God, so nice. Glad I'm Christian. <laughs> In the facade, he has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona Izanagi. Whoa! What was that? Oh, that was God. We're chill like did that. I hear you say persona. What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, I summoned God. You think I can do it too? Yeah, if you pray hard enough. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. Ooh, stop calling me that. S sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. What? I am one impressed bear. I don't want your praise. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. How would you tell they were scared? They were balls with tongues. I don't think you can get much emotion from that. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? Obviously. Did you think it was Yosuke? <laughs> That's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? Bitch, do you have God on your side? That's what I thought. Sorry. Don't say sorry to him. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Yo, okay. if you, like, ever split off in the group and get jumped, you're dead, man. You gotta start praying right now. Man. Except God into your what heart. What could have happened to Senpai here? Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Janess. Is Juness soon so so it's about to give up? Stop it. I mean like well, Juness sounds Ufa like a bit of a powerhouse, to like drain a monopoly. Daughter working for the Assimilate. Enemy. What a troublesome child. Damn bro, she just wanted to make hey, money. Hey Ted! You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. I guess we're going on then, yay. Oh, isn't dungeon time? Can I control my character? No? Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of beer. Oh my god. Damn it, not again. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the You've neighbors met her dad? You, right? Aren't, is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. Yes, you anything to say about that? She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? Were you guys like really close enough to share that with each other? Hey, is this? Uh huh. It's the photo we took the other day with the other part timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? Let's grab a photo that shows Saki Kanishi smiling. This guy sitting next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. I was about to say, like, does Yosuke get bitches from the app? Fucking <laughs> afterlife? No. Damn. I was right, babe. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. 
Okay, that dude, that's a bit rude. Completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dip. Okay, fuck. Damn. Pain in the ass? <laughs> the worst you could say is no. <laughs> Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. Okay. I get like you're angry, man. But why'd you have to throw your head back like that? Fuck. That was so weird. So sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo hoo. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? Uh, huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? It's you without glasses. I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything. Especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? That's not true, I... You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. <laughs> the more the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Uh oh Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. You know, Yosuke, a good way to like shut him up would be just locking him in the goddamn jaw to give him a good den. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? Is that true, Yosuke? It's not true. Stop! Stop it! You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. Damn, bro, fuck. That's not true! Are you? I said fuck so many times. Are are oh my god. <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that. I don't know you. You can't be me, you son of a bitch! Damn, you okay? Put some emotion behind your voice. Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's right. Say it again. You're not me! You're nothing like me! I don't think you should have said that again, Yosuke. I think you fell yeah, into his trap. that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? Oh my fuck, he's evolving. Yosuke, what did you do? Yosuke, oh my god. Is that a fucking sign the hedgehog villain? What the fuck am I looking at? I am a shadow. The truth. No, self. you are a salamander or frog or some I'll shit. Crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. I don't know I'm boring? Ow. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. Good advice, Yos. I mean, fuck. Good advice, Teddy. Thank, thank you for telling me I can defend myself. Okay then. Uh, fuck. Hmm. Do I know anything about it? This no, I don't. One's 
so I, I doubt it's gonna be weak to Dio. What's what's uh defense? Okay, I take a lot of SP though. Hmm. I don't want to go with Cleave. I don't have a lot of health to begin with. No, I'll see. I'll see what Zio does. I'll I'll risk the Zio. It's weak to Zio. Okay. Another one. Why would you not use the attack that I'm weak to a second time? Can I just Zio him to death? How much help would that work? He seems to be really low on health. Alright, I want to use this to... I want to raise... Actually, I only have 37 SP left. I probably shouldn't... Go with a regular ass attack. Bonk. I hope so. It's guarding its weak point. Okay. Punch. Huh, that's it. Boring. Fuck you. Oh, oh, oh god, ow. Okay. Why did you just spend his turn laughing? Why are you dumb? You could have killed me. I should probably YOLO. 100 HP? Don't mind if I fucking do. I don't even have that much. Yosuke's okay, card, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Uh, I want to crease my defense. A lot of damage. Oh, a crit? Let's go. No, that was not a crit. Why did you do the whole face thing if it was barely gonna do anything? Here comes an attack. Defend yourself. Whatever you say. You're getting to be a real pain. All right, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got. Don't do that. That's be scared. Oh my, he's gonna use Wind of Oblivion two times in a row? What? Already? Already? It's been two turns, okay. Um... I think I go for a regular attack here, I'm gonna SP. He's <laughs> hit him again. Here comes an attack! Defend yourself! Get out of my sight! I think this is gonna just turn into who can do the mo deal the most damage faster, which I think is me. He doesn't heal. Here comes an attack. Yeah. Get out of my sight. That was coming kind of unpredictable. I figured out the routine. Got the strat. Yeah. Just beat the shit out of him. Okay, I'm at 16 health. That's not. I've used two medicines in spite. I'm still gonna RPG these guys. Oh fuck. Here comes an attack! Defend yourself! Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> so what if I should be like this focus on something SP? Like I I have a lot Zio doesn't cause us much. I'll Zio and then attack. Oh never mind, he's just dead. Why was a gray leaking out of him? Congratulations, Sensei! Oh yeah, leveled up. Yes, the side of you has changed. Oh, Rakuna. Do I get Rakuna? Do I get Rakuna? No, I don't. I I guess. Are you all right, Yosuke? I, I. Yeah, you're a frog, man. Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You turned into a frog. It was really fucking weird. Me. Yo, don't that say that again, man. From you, Yosuke. You just saw me had to fight that thing, man. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. 
Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. Y you're a frog, man. It's okay. <laughs> Same inside. You're still yourself, man. Like, you're not. I'll myself. I'll be your acquaintance to get closer to you. <laughs> Damn it! it! Hurts to face yourself. What the fuck do you mean it hurts? I'm the one taking damage. Did you not see that? I got my ass wiped out there. I knew it wasn't lying. <laughs> I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me, and I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has has been made manifest. Oh, fuck, that looks sick as fuck. That looks sick as fuck. That. Oh my, that looks cool! Oh, I this, this game's Persona this designs look good. Are you okay? When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? Yeah. What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. It, I, I would say no problem, but it was a huge fucking problem, man. My limbs hey, hurt. Teddy, could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? You were not attacked I at all. So. The shadows here were originally born from human. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. The fuck do you this mean? This isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. Okay, I was about to say, if I he's worn out from fighting, I, I would have smacked him. Or I was doing Let's all the fighting. My, my golf club is a bent, man. My limbs hurt. I've, I've injected so much medicine into my body. Hey, How am I alive? You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. So this world killed them. The Maybe it killed like whoever. Sometimes the shadows get really violent then. Whoever just happened to be with them at that moment and who actually did all the fighting. No. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, maybe then you actually have to fight. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here Stop with calling you. me Sensei. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. We? I'm the only one doing... Actually, no, Yosuke might actually be able to fight now since he has a persona. But Teddy, you ain't doing shit. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? That, that seems to be the case. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? The depths of hell. You don't even know where you came from? 
How should we know? Definitely not to hell. You are not a good creature. I know something. I don't like you. Mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? We, of course, no. That sounds too nice. That's that's being too nice to him. We made a prom. We we made a promise. You'll keep your word. I guess. Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. Okay. The TV at Juno's. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. You're making very light of our possible death, Teddy. Got it? Got well, it. Pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Like, even if, okay, go, like go, I said before, go. there's like, there's. Squish. I just lost my train of thought. That made me lose my train of thought. What the fuck was that, Teddy? Why did you say squish? Stop squeezing, you little. Ugh. What is happening? Turn the screen back visible. I wonder if she is still there. She just leave us, left her for dead. I wouldn't blame her. I find you. Yeah, we're, we're alive. Calm the fuck down, we're alive. Huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? Ow! God, fuck, man. What did Yosuke do? Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! You kind of, you could have come in too, I mean. I, I, I. I was so worried. <laughs> Sorry, it sounds like a you problem though. I mean, scared stiff, <gasps> damn it! We are in the middle of the story. You need to... Oh, she hates us now. Okay, I'm fine with that. I, I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. I mean, like, probably. Maybe we did go a little too far. I'm. Mean, Mm. We had like no way of telling her that we were. He knew the bear was in there. She knew the bear was in there. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely. It's only been a couple seconds. We can probably catch up with her. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. We still have the glasses on. <laughs> well, see. You Just realized that. Bye, Yosuke. Yosuke is cool. I like Yosuke. He's chill. I wonder if Ojima's home. Near the flood plane while walking home from Juno's. Go. Mm -hmm. You can go. Hello, you oh, can go. Are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. It looks very nice on you. Um, are you getting used to your new town and school? It's... It does not much you used to, really? I mean. Really? Yeah. But. It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Uh, she, 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 she is chill, I guess. I see. She's always full of energy. Threw a rope at Yosuke. It was she funny. She's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. 
We Is had that a true? together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. <laughs> oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Jeez. Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> Goodbye, you could go. Dad's late. Of fucking course he is. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Indiana. You like lock the doors closed to make sure he can't leave. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Yes, I remember. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Yeah, do you want to like change the channel, Monica? We can. You want to watch SpongeBob? I feel Dad like SpongeBob. Dad will be coming home tonight. Okay, that's what you're worried about. Okay. I'll be here with you, Yonko. I'll, I'll keep you we'll company. Be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Absolutely. Very reliable for Amaki parade. Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko? <laughs> She's on the news. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! And she's a teenager. Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. He is a teenager. Huh? No, um... The porter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. Yeah. What's the name of that oh, report? I, I, I'm gonna pay them a visit. Maybe it's the dishes. Listen <laughs> to the shadow rump. I, I can help, Nautica. You don't have to... Yeah, you don't have to do the dishes alone, man. You know, check your size. Man, man, man. Really don't, man. Ooh. Okay, it's level, only level two. I only have a golf club. How you doing, Nanako? It's a lot faster when there are two people washing dishes. Yeah, that that's true. Okay, um... Save game. I think that is where I'm going to end the stream for today. Two hours and 30 minutes. Jeez, that is long for me. That is long for me. Mm. All right then. Uh, it was nice seeing you guys. Uh, I'll be back probably Monday, I think. Yeah, Monday. All right, guys. See ya. Uh, good night. Good luck. Peace.